him. I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Snack on the gob, it's time for the only news that matters. And in a new interview with TMZ, D. Snyder touches upon Skid Row's reluctance to reunite with singer Sebastian Bach. Despite constant calls from fans for the band's classic lineup to come back together for the first time in three decades, he says, I'm close with Sebastian and I'm close friends with Snake as well. Both sides close friends. And I actually counseled them to get them through the Slave to the Grind record. I was literally talking to both parties, just trying to keep it together. I'm friends to them. And Sebastian's a very intense dude, and I love him. But just like my band, Twisted Sister, they came to hate me. And they wanted nothing to do with me. And I changed. I had an epiphany. I went through a lot of stuff in the 90s and 2000s, and I'm a different person than I was back in the 80s. I was a real a-hole then. And so the band has reunited with me, and we are friends. Circling back to the Skid Row situation, Snyder added, until people just sort of get over themselves, all parties, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. All right. Number one, if D. Snyder is so close a friend as uh, Dave the Snake Sabo, how does he not know that Dave has like, you know, mental issues, you know? And I'm not, I'm not even friends with Dave the Snake, not even a little bit. But you know, he has like depression and all these issues that having Sebastian around would not be a good thing. And I will not equate Skid Row's breakup with Twisted Sister at all. It was a whole different situation. See, when Twisted Sister broke up, D was so broke in the 90s that he used to drive on a bike to a work answering phones for a while. That's how bad he had it. He had no money. He was broke. And he was working a shitty job, right? After Skid Row broke up, Sebastian has done solo albums. He was on Phantom of the Opera, Big Broadway, Jekyll and Hyde, he did Jesus Christ Superstar. You know, he's been very active. He wasn't on a bike riding to work, you know? And then you have the Skid Row side where they they, they never, like, well, they, they did break up for a while. They were Ozone Monday, but then they came back. Without Sebastian. Twisted Sister did not come back without D. Snyder. You know? He, Twisted Sister can't come back without D. Snyder. You know, basically. If you listen to the interview I did with Eddie Ojeda, Ojeda admitted on my episode that should have been all over Blabbermouth and stuff that he said he wrote the beginning of Price and he, did, he had some things to do with songwriting where D. Snyder gets all the credit just like Ozzy did on Bark at the Moon. And sure, D. Snyder was an a-hole back then and his band hated him. Sebastian's still an a-hole. He never been humbled. He's never had a right to work in a bike and answer phone calls. Se Sebastian Bach, ever since Skid Row, has been on a steady stream of, you know, his career being, you know, pretty, not, he's not very successful like he was in Skid Row, but it's at a decent rate where he can go out and play, you know, nice size club. He can pack, you know, 700 a night or something like that. Not bad. And Skid Row's the same thing. I've seen Skid Row with Solinger, and I saw him twice. Luckily, I saw him them twice with Eric, who was, in my opinion, the, the, the greatest singer they ever had. And every time I saw all these lineup with Skid Row, it's the same amount of people that go see Sebastian Bach. I'm talking about South Florida because I go see Sebastian solo and I see Skid Row without Sebastian. And I'm telling you, it's the same amount of people. 
I don't think either band draws more than the other in South Florida. But either way, they're they're both doing decently, way better than D. Snyder did at the Twisted Sister, and I'm sure the band members of Twisted Sister, since they got no songwriting credit, were probably doing even worse. You know, and back then, like in the 90s and 2000s, I mean, you wouldn't hear, we're not going to take it anywhere. Now you hear it, on, I, I hear it in movies and songs in the past 20 years. But there was a while there, man. Twisted Sister was kind of like considered a joke band from the 80s because people only knew the wacky videos, you know, that they, they would, you know, put out on MTV. And that's the image they got where I thought they were a much better band than that. They were raw, heavy. I'm talking about those first three albums. Especially the first two, but I love Stay Hungry. I think all three of them are great. And, uh, you know, and Skid Row, I thought, I thought they, they released some great albums with Sebastian too. And I think they released great albums without Sebastian. You know, I can't say that about Twist Sister. The Twist Sister is not releasing anything without Dee Snyder. I enjoyed Widowmaker a lot. I mean, a lot. I recently got Standby for Pain on vinyl. Very limited amount. I had to get it. And, uh, you know, and I enjoyed uh, Angel Down from from Sebastian Bach. I thought his last album, Hold On to Dream or something like that, is the best song he's ever sang, period. You know, uh, I, I love the hell out of that song. But I also liked The Gang's All Here. I love the EPs. I thought that World Rebellion EP with Sandra was awesome. Thick Skin had its moments. I didn't like that Revolution per Minutes at all. I thought that was just, what the hell were they thinking on this clunker? But I enjoyed, you know, the other stuff. But now I'm just going into some stupid tangent. Bottom line is, they don't want to get back with Sebastian no matter what. And I think it's a different type of hate to have a Sebastian than the guy's and Twist Sister hated you. I remember uh, Mark the Animal Mendoza wanted to shoot him. You know, that's how pissed he was at D. Where Skid Row would just like to forget about him. You know, and just go on. You know, I mean, Sebastian, and it was known back then. When Sebastian was in the band, the band got kind of pissed off that he got a lot of the attention. Like when Sebastian got on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, man, the band was like, what the hell? I know this. Because I've read it through the years from different people that, you know, the band weren't too too happy having Sebastian Bach, you know, being the face of the band and making them feel like, you know, they're just background musicians for them. And I think that has a lot to do with them not wanting Sebastian Bach. And plus, Sebastian's a handful. You know, and Sebastian keeps running out there saying, they've had nine singers, they've had nine singers. Well, only three singers appeared on their records, okay? And how many guitar player, drummers, and bass players has Sebastian gone through in his solo career? I'm telling you, it's way more than nine, uh, he keeps saying. And, you know, when Sebastian first came out as a solo artist, I saw him down here, and it was... The band sucked. You know, they had this guy up there with green wings, some Indian dude on bass, Richie Scarlett, who's a good guitar player, but it just didn't sound right. And Bam Bam, rest in peace, uh, that was in Madame X with him. He died. He was a drummer. and He's a good drummer, man, but I don't think all these musicians together clicked. It just didn't seem right. You know, I think he got... Once he released Angel Down, that's when, you know, it seemed right. You know, I, after I seen him live, after Angel Down, great, great shows, great, great band. They have a great band. Now it's like, you know, he's got a whole new different band, and I just saw him two years ago. But anyway, what do you all think? Leave it in the comments below, D. Snyder. Do you think he's right? Do you think that, you know, they can get back with Sebastian since Twisted Sister got back with him? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you think they will get Sebastian Bach, why it's taking them so goddamn long. 
I personally don't think they're ever going to bring them back. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching The Only News That Matters. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>